All right. So our objective is to make this magnifying glass work and basically using what the mirror uses. I also added a script that when you're not using it, uh, it disables the magnification and just kind of makes it transparent. But I'll show you how to do that too. So first thing we're going to need is, of course, the magnifying glass. So if I just go into prefabs and look up mag, you'll see there's the magnifying glass uh, prefab and there's the magnifying glass model. You want the prefab one, of course, this little box icon. So I'm just going to drag that in here. Maybe just tuck it on top of the, the apple for now so we can kind of see what's going on. And we're going to want to put that down in the dynamic section. And I'm going to call this uh, mag glass 2, just to differentiate it between them. And if we expand that out, there's the, uh, it says magnifying glass, but if I disable it, you can see it's really just the handle in the frame. Um, so we're not going to really mess with that at all. But the lens, that's what we really care about. Right now it's using just a glass lens. Now I'm going to make a new material and a new render texture, which is what's going to um, put the camera kind of on that little circle right there because that's really what's happening with these mirrors is it's actually another camera facing outwards um, see if I look at this one you can see there's a camera as a child of the lens and to make it magnified I just move the camera away from the magnifying lens I don't know if that's the best way but it does work um, so we're gonna copy that so on here uh, we are going to make a new material, but let's go ahead and create our empty. I'm going to call this camera. And on that, I'm going to add a camera script, um, which we will use this output render texture here that we're going to create. So let's look at the old one and make sure we're in the correct folder. So here's material brown. If I click in there, it takes me to the materials folder. I am going to create a new material. I'm going to call this Mark Mirror to Matt. <laughs> so I know what it is. Um, the other, oh, here it goes, doing some updates. If I look at the other uh, mirror, like this black one, it is using the, if I expand that out, the URP unlit opaque front, and it's got a base map. And that base map is a render texture. So what I need to do on my, that one, is instead of lit, I'm going to follow the pattern of the other one, URP unlit, opaque front, and it just needs a base map. This is what it's going to use to render the texture. Now, if you pick one of these two, your, <laughs> your magnifying glass is going to show um, what the other thing shows, which is not what we want. Um, like it'll show what the mirror up here shows, or I use the brown one for this. It'll show what that shows. We need to make our own. So we made a material. Now we need a texture. So to get to my textures, if I click on, let's say this uh, mirror black, and I see this base map, um, this is inside of course library textures. So that's where I want to go. It's down here somewhere. Textures, there we go. And I'm going to create a render texture right there. I'm going to call this Mirror Mark Texture 2. And let's just compare it to one of these other ones. You can see it's 512 by 512. And this needs to be set to Mirror. I'm going to go ahead and set the size to 512s. Okay, now that we have that and we have our material in here, now we can go to, uh, whoops, wrong one, the magnifying glass lens of my new mag glass. And this material here is going to use my, I use my name in the naming so it makes it really easy when I search. Uh, here's my new material. And you can see it's uh, 
projecting what the mirror would project and that's because it's not using the correct render texture um, so if I go down into camera and scroll down inside of the camera script there's the output texture we need to pick our new texture too and something's still not right um oh it's just looking over there we don't want that um so this camera here really needs to get rotated uh not that way i think it's on the x actually yeah we want it facing down which is probably supposed to be about a 90 and oh the uh camera has a really interesting clipping plane 0.01 and 10 is what the other one was and you can see it's rendering straight from the magnifying glass so i'm actually going to cheat a little and oops not that sorry position move it away from it so it looks like it's magnified um let's pull this whole mag glass two up a little bit whoa not that high all right it should be showing something else sorry i figured out what the problem was under my mag glass two with the lens selected here it's got the correct material here but down here if i twirl this open it's picking up the wrong base map. I want it to pick up my custom render texture that we made earlier. So I'm just going to double click on that. And now you can see it's uh, showing the apple that's below it. And let's maybe exaggerate this camera uh, zoom a little bit there. And we also need to make the mag glass grabbable, of course. So I'm going to select the parent and just put in grab. And there's the grab interactable. Um, let's take a look at it and see where we're at. I think I'm going to have another issue with grabbing it because I didn't set an attach point. Um, yeah. Oh, and everything's upside down. So we need to rotate our camera 180. We also need a better grab point on there. So very quickly, if we can do that, um, I am going to add an empty and call this grab point or I think attach point might be a better one um, which defaults to right in the center of the glass so we're gonna set that somewhere down here and then on the parent where that script is there's an attach transform we just put that attach point right there and our camera if I remember had a yeah you can see the, the leaf going left here and the leaf going right there that's not what we want. So I'm going to guess we need to spin that like a 180. Oop, where did my mouse go? There. 180. That's probably a lot better. Let's try that. Got my Quest 1 hooked up here with the link cable tethered on there. Uh, well, that's right, but the attach point is... Oh, it's just upside down whoops well everything works except for that so let's just real quick like uh this attach point is fade that blue should be facing the other way like something like that so like 180 there let's try it one more time looks good hey we got her now if you do want to implement the um Cause it looks weird that when I set it on here, since the camera is actually underneath there, it looks like it's seeing right through the table because <laughs> the camera is actually below the table. Um, so if you want to disable that, um, and, you know, only magnify when you pick it up. What I did on this other one was I created a, on the lens, I created this uh, simple script, this mirror mat change. And... I have one material that is actually clear and then one that is set to mirror. So this clear one, if I click on it, is a uh, URP unlit transparent set to multiply. No base map, no nothing. And then I have, of course, my, my mirror um, with the base map that we set before. So inside that script, if I just show you this one real quick, I'll just open up the script. 
Um, basically, I just set two public materials that I could assign in the inspector, clear and mirror. And then I have this custom function, set mat clear. Well, the renderer dot material set to clear. And this function, so I have two named functions that I could call on. So when should it go clear and when should it go to the mirror? Well, it should, when I pick it up, it should go to the mirror, right? So if I go to the uh, grab interactable, um, down here in interactable events, I want to say select entered, which means I picked it up. I want it to change the material. So I'm going to hit a plus there and a plus here. So enter and exit. So it's asking here, where's the script and what script and function do you want to run? Well, the script is actually on here. So I'm going to say when I pick it up in the function, this mirror mat change or in the script, this run the function because I picked it up. I want it to be a mirror which is the camera. And then when I drop it, the script is located here on that. And the script is here, and I want it to be set to clear. So I pick it up, run this function. Drop it, run that function. Let's test it out. And obviously you would just apply the same thing to the magnifying glass we just added. Um, so there it is using the mirror thing and then when i drop it it's disabled pick it up drop it and it works hope this helps somebody out there